Okay. So I'm Howard Reingold, and my project is the Social Media Classroom, which is on the screen here, which is a browser-based, free and open source, uh, uniform user interface, social media teaching environment for, for educators. It doesn't cost anything, and we've got a lot of how-to material and curriculum material for them to use it. So my, my project involved creating this software and also uh, a lot of curriculum material, syllabi and teaching plans and videos about how to use all this stuff. So I, I think one lesson learned was I bit off a lot and then I had to chew it. With this particular project, this is something that I was doing anyway and would be doing anyway. It's just that the award enabled me to do it better and faster and on a, a larger scale. It mostly enabled me to hire a developer to help me with the software, but the, I was developing the curriculum and the videos anyway. So um, it was a lot of work. It was work that I enjoyed doing and work that I was going to do anyway, but I... I might have scaled it down a little bit, I think, if I was to do this again. I think what they were interested in was the social media classroom and, and the website for the social media classroom. But so it has its own website that has got a lot of material that helps educators on on how to use this. But I, I don't know that all the videos that I created, which is very time consuming work, I think I would have gotten the award anyway if I hadn't. But uh, you know, it was just, I think all these things work together. The so. video, to, do you have to, video tutorials for the teachers to learn how to use it? And that took a lot I of time. I have video about how to use RSS and what social bookmarking is about and why to use forums. And so it's, it's not, I've got more videos to make about specifically how to use this software. We, we built in a how-to part of the, the software and I, I think, so there's a tab with how-to. I think um, one thing I would do again um, would, would be to, to devote more resources and start earlier on the, on the how-to part. But I think my biggest lesson was I got a, a really great developer to work with me and not having developed software before, I didn't realize that a great developer doesn't mean a good user interface designer, nor am I a, a good user interface designer. Although I think the user interface, considering the fact that neither of us have that expertise, I think it looks pretty good. But I would have included in my budget, well, not only do you need a user interface designer, but you need a, a, a graphic designer to take their, their sketches and their renderings and, and, and render them for your, your actual production. And then you need a CSS expert to install that, that graphic rendering, none of which I knew when I started out. So, you know, if you're going to try to innovate, you can't know everything, uh, and you learn things later. So I'd say these are definitely lessons learned and things I would do differently. But I, I, I think if you don't have things that you would do differently and you don't have lessons learned, then you haven't been ambitious enough. So you think the main thing is that um, all the different little pieces that are needed to create a good website, like the designer, the user interface person, that if you could go back in time, that's what you would try to sketch I'm, out? I, well, I would, I would have budgeted. Oh. So I had to steal money from one part of the budget in order to get a little bit of user interface design help and a little bit of graphic design help. So I think at the beginning, I would have built into my budget, user interface designer, graphic designer, CSS expert, so. Okay, well thanks a lot. Sure.